A dog's personality is a mystery. This puzzle is partly solved by what a dog was first bred to do. And yet, there are some breeds where you look at them and go, no way, when you hear their original purpose. Take the Papillon, a tiny, elegant breed that was once the ultimate accessory for noblewomen, designed to fit in the folds of their sleeves. And yet, descended from the hunting spaniels, the little Papillon could chase off any unwelcome suitors with surprising zeal. So yeah, breed plays a role in shaping a dog's character, but there's another surprising factor that could explain your dog's cuddliness or their flair for the dramatic. Their coat color. In this video, we set out to uncover whether there's truth to the idea that the color of your dog's coat, be it black, white, brown, ginger, or a vibrant mix, influences their personality. Before we dive in deeper, be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our doggy-loving community. Is there any real science behind coat color linked to a dog's personality, or is it just a quirky theory? Well, we've mentioned spaniels. In 2016, a groundbreaking study was published about those curly-haired pooches, revealing a solid connection between a cocker spaniel's behavior, personality, and coat color. In a meticulous experiment, scientists took a close look at 51 spaniel puppies who were about seven weeks old. They were all brothers and sisters, or at least half-related. This was super important because it helped the scientists be more sure that any differences they saw were because of the puppy's fur colors, not because of their genes or how they were raised. So, get this. You'd think golden-coated puppies, the ones we always see as super friendly in movies and stuff, would be all about cuddles, right? But nope, they actually turned out to be a bit standoffish and could even get a little nippy. Now the dogs with spots and mixed colors, they were a whole different story. They absolutely loved hanging out with people, wagging their tails like crazy, super happy to be in the mix. And the black-coated pups? They were less outgoing than the spotty ones, and actually the most assertive bunch with a mind of their own. But what's behind this intriguing correlation? Researchers speculate it might all boil down to genetics. The same genetic markers influencing coat color could also play a role in a puppy's behavioral development. Adding another layer to this puzzle, researchers from the University of Sydney looked into the lives of more than 33,000 Labradors from the UK. What they found is that the chocolate labs have recessive genes that makes them that cute brown color, but this gene might also make them not live as long as yellow or black labs. Plus, it looks like they might have more problems with their ears and skin too. Personality-wise, you've probably noticed that not all labs are cut from the same cloth. Despite sharing the same breed, you might have heard the common stereotypes about distinct lab temperaments. Starting with the classic Black Labrador, widely recognized as the go-getter of the bunch. These dogs are often seen leading the charge in fields, woods, and by waterways, excelling as working dogs, hunters, or gun dogs. Their prowess and dedication make them indispensable companions for outdoor enthusiasts. On the other hand, the yellow Labrador, or white for some, shines in a different arena. These dogs have carved out a reputation as exceptional service animals. Known for their calm demeanor and intelligence, they've become synonymous with roles such as seeing-eye dogs and rescue heroes. Then we have the Chocolate Lab, the heart warmer of the Labrador family. These affectionate dogs are often associated with being the quintessential family pet, or stars of the show ring. Their playful nature and boundless energy make them perfect for a lively household. But how many of these stereotypes are actually backed by science? A groundbreaking study in 2001 by researchers at Cornell University's Veterinary Hospital brought some surprising facts to light. Contrary to popular belief, it was discovered that chocolate Labradors were less prone to behavior problems compared to their counterparts. Meanwhile, yellow Labradors were more likely to exhibit aggression issues. This challenges the stereotypes and suggests that there's more to our furry friends than meets the eye. So while the coat color of a dog might give a hint about their traditional roles and health insights, these findings remind us to look beyond stereotypes, embracing each dog's unique character and needs. 
And here's a quirky yet practical tip for dog parents. There's actually a color-coded system in the dog world. It's like unlocking a secret language that lets our furry friends speak without uttering a bark. Picture this. From a distance, a bright ribbon or bandana tied to a dog's leash acts like a billboard, broadcasting their personality and needs to anyone who's paying attention. It's not just about fashion. For those dog parents out there looking to communicate their dog's disposition, swapping out the plain old leash for a color-rich ribbon or bandana is a smart move. It's like giving your dog a voice in a crowded room without the need for a translator. So, let's unravel the mystery behind each color. Which of them would you choose for your doggo? Starting with red. A dog sporting a collar, ribbon, or bandana of a red color is like a walking stop sign. It's a heads up that they might not be in the mood for cuddles or close encounters. This is particularly crucial for dogs who might feel overwhelmed in social situations, ensuring they get the space they need. On the other end of the spectrum, we have yellow. It's the universal color of caution, and in the canine world, it translates to, I'm a bit unsure here. A dog with a yellow ribbon might be the canine equivalent of an introvert at a party. They're there, but they'd rather not have the spotlight on them. Green is the go-ahead color, signaling that a dog is all systems go for making new friends. This is perfect for those dogs who never seem to run out of love to give and are always ready for a scratch behind the ears or a playful game. Blue is the thinking cap of the dog world. A dog with a blue ribbon is in student mode, soaking up new commands and behaviors. This is a gentle reminder to give them a little leeway as they master the art of being a well-behaved pup. Then there's orange, the handle with care label. An orange ribbon hints that a dog might have some specific quirks or training needs. It's a polite nudge to ask before you interact, ensuring everyone's on the same page. Last but not least, purple is the dietary restriction tag. Just like people, some dogs have food sensitivities or diets that need to be strictly managed. A purple collar is their way of saying, thanks, but I will need to pass on the snack. For those eager to embrace this colorful communication method, here's a tip. When choosing your dog's accessory, consider not just the color, but also how visible it is from a distance. Bright, contrasting colors make the message clear, even from afar, so it might be enough to have a collar or ribbon. But with colors that are less bright, or don't have enough contrast with your pal's fur, opt for a larger bandana. Can your dog actually smell your feelings? Which song has a frequency only dogs can hear? And are dogs capable of unselfish kindness, or is it just a myth? So check out this video to see for yourself if you knew any of these 13 facts. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our doggy-loving community.